welcome everybody to the 2019 PFL World Championship Press Conference! <laughs> so exciting, so exciting. Guys, it is tremendous. Thank you so much for everybody watching on ESPN+. Plus. Thank you to all the fans here, the friends and the families here in attendance for all of this exciting, exciting news. It is championship time. I am Lillian Garcia, your in-cage announcer, where all the action has been taking place and tremendous action it has been. These fighters from all over the world have been fighting for a chance at the championship and here they are, they're looking sharp. They're ready to go is going to be non-stop action because it is six world titles, six million dollar winners. And it is all taking place at the Hulu Theater. I also want to thank for coming today as a PFL supporter. It is none other than WWE Hall of Famer Mick Foley. Big supporter of the PFL because MMA is making some tremendous strides, including the PFL and what they're doing. And like I said, it is all taking place New Year's Eve at the Hulu Theater here in the beautiful, world-renowned Madison Square Garden. Now, the doors open at 5.30, and at 6 o'clock, we're going to get started with the pre-show. And then all the action for the championship is going to be taking place at 7 p.m. on ESPN2. I have been so honored to be part of this organization and I want to thank the PFL because I am the only female in cage announcer for in combat sports so it feels really really great to be making that mark here in the PFL and someone that has been tremendous in making that happen for me is the CEO of the PFL. Please welcome Mr. Peter Murray. Thank you, Lillian. It's great, great to have the media here. We're excited to be in New York City at the uh, Hulu Theater. Uh, it's the PFL's home. It's our second time uh, to host the championship and only our second season uh, here in New York City uh, at Madison Square Garden. And so, but we're here. It's all about the fighters to my right, to my left on the stage. I'm incredibly proud of uh, their journeys this season. They competed and earned their way to the championship. We're at Tuesday night, four days. It'll be the biggest night in MMA. Six champions will be crowned, and each will earn a million dollars. And uh, we're, we're excited about it. We're going to finish the year big. There'll be six belts will be raised before the ball drops in Times Square. And uh, next year from the PFL, you can expect much more excitement from us as we continue to grow the league around the world. Uh, we're excited about new fighters joining, expanded distribution internationally, but more to come because this week and New Year's Eve is all about uh, the athletes to my right and to my left. So let's give them a hand. <laughs> so without further ado, I'd like to introduce our head of fighter operations, Ray Sefo. Uh, Ray, come on out. Good afternoon, everybody, and happy holidays to everyone. Um, listen, Pete's covered it all. I think it's, uh, I just want to say that I'm super proud of all the fighters that are sitting up here that will be fighting for the championship. I'm super proud of my team that put all this, you know, put the roster together this year, but we're definitely looking forward to the 2020 roster. It's going to be amazing. Fireworks is going to happen New Year's Eve. I'm also super proud of having our inaugural women's 155 division champion that's going to be crowned that night. So uh, it's exciting. Uh, there's a lot of exciting news coming and a lot of big things happening for, two, for PFL 2020 as well. So enjoy the show and thank you everybody. No sorty. ser o primeiro argentino a lutar por, por aqui para o Mundial do MMA e a verdade estou muito feliz de ser aqui no, no PFL, né? Uh, it's an honor to be here with all you guys. Thanks for the opportunity. Uh, it's a great place to be able to showcase my work and put Argentina on the map when it comes to mixed martial arts. Uh, had a different route to get here, to say the least, but uh, also feel like I had the toughest route 
in my biased opinion. But uh, you know, we, we got the world's fastest trilogy in MMA going on. It's it's time for me to do my part and uh, change my life. So, it lands Palmer. I'm excited to be here again for the second season of PFL and the second championship in a row. So um, I'm going out there to look and do the same thing I did last year against a, a more than worthy and tough opponent. So I'm excited for it. روسیه اکنون دکابر میشود در تایلند یا شش ماه شش هفته ای نه تمرین خدا بود داشتم من برای تیارم انشالله با باوری افتادم تا که روزی سیبی اکنون یک بای خوب نشان دیم. Thank you everyone for the support. For this final, I was preparing very hard. I spent a lot of time in Thailand to get prepared and. I'm ready to show an amazing and explosive fight on uh, December 31st. I'm learning English, sorry guys. Uh, eu tô muito feliz, eu acho que o PFL proporcionou isso aqui para mim. Tá conseguindo lutar entre os melhores, fui campeão no passado, fiz por merecer, agradeço muito a Deus e ao PFL por toda essa oportunidade. Extremely happy uh, to be here. PFL has offered me the opportunity to uh, battle against the, the very best and I can only thank God, my coaches and you guys for me being here the second year in a row. Разделить арену со своим соперником 31 числа. И из-за этого как бы, будем стараться сделать свое, довести до конца свое дело. Um, I'm very honored to be here. Um, I'm ready. I'm very stoked to uh, face my opponent on the 31st. And uh, we started the business, and it's time to finish it. Thank you for coming, everybody. Thank you to the PFL, um, Pete Murray, Don Davis, and uh, Ray Shaffer for giving us the opportunity to fight here and um yeah I'm just ready to go on with that Tuesday and yeah thank you. Ray Cooper the third everybody. You know happy to be here happy to be in the finals but really there's not much to say we're gonna do our talking in the cage so check us out on Tuesday night. David Michon. Thank you guys thanks everyone for being here um you know I'm excited I think everyone here is excited we don't want to do a lot of talking we're here to, to make history, to shatter ceilings, and I'm here to bring some more gold back to ATT. Thank you very much to the heavyweight division. Like, um, a lot went into our first fight. You know, it was a last minute opponent change. Um, the day before I became the main event because Magomed got sick. It was kind of a little chaotic. Um, and I'm still really green in the sport of MMA, so I would definitely say I didn't uh, take Larissa as seriously as I should have. She's an amazing fighter. She's, you know, been fighting much longer than me since she was just a kid. She's a very game opponent. She's good everywhere. Um, but the strides that I've made since May, the ground that I've covered, it's exponential. And you can't stop me. You know, you know what I'm going to do. You can try and stop it, but there's not going to be any stopping me. And three rounds was bad for her. Imagine five rounds of this. Um, I've dealt with this in wrestling growing up. I've wrestled guys five, six times. So fighting somebody three times in a short amount of time isn't any different. We're both going to make adjustments between the first fight to the second fight to the third fight or fourth. It doesn't matter what fight it is. It's a unique, each fight is unique to itself, no matter how many times you fought someone. Obviously, I'm going to make my own adjustments on things that I didn't like from the last fight or the very first time we fought, and he's going to make adjustments also. So um, there's nothing really frustrating about it. You take it how it's given. Soon as well, so I think it's going to be a battle of wills for me. Uh, get out there and, and do whatever I have to to uh, to win. But this is definitely a, a challenge. It's crazy when I look at this year and. And to think that I'm, I'm fighting an Olympian for the second time, and I fought a world champion this year, all in, all in one year's time, that's, that's pretty wild. 